Hi everyone, it's Angie. No, I don't have an oxygen problem. I'm not hypoxic. I've been working on some projects today, so I've got blue ink all over me. So just don't pay attention to that. I was working on something, and so I thought, well, I'll just turn the uh, video camera on and, and let you craft along with me. I wanted to show you, I'm working on a, um, I'm cutting up a wool jacket that I got at Goodwill. I love this print. Um, so I've cut several pieces off of it <clears throat> and what I'm doing is I'm working on some more headbands because I'm actually trying to get ready for a craft fair where I want to sell headbands and maybe some journals. Um, I just have an issue with selling journals at something like that. They would have to be something very simple that, um, that I don't want people handling a lot. You know, you can imagine what that would be like. But anyway, um, I'm making these rosettes for these headbands with, um, part of that wool jacket. So I kind of wanted to show you what I was doing here um, and how I did it. I know there's a blue million videos of this out there and, and you may not want another one, but I'm going to put uh, mine on here and give my take on how I, how I do that. But I think they turn out really cute. Um, first of all, I want to tell you about this mat. This mat, um, you know I own a bakery and one of these days we'll do a field trip and I'll take you on uh, to the bakery with me. But um, this is a Martha Stewart Silpat. It's actually a baking mat. And I, I never use it at the bakery. But I love it here, and I'll tell you why. When I do something like this, because I'm gluing, see that glue? I'm gluing right on here. And if I did it on my good mat, I would have lumps of glue on here. So when I laid out fabric, it would mess up my mat, and I don't want to do that. So I love this this silicone mat because it doesn't stick to it. So if you ever find you know one cheap, they're not cheap if you buy it, you know, for what it's actually intended for. They're like thirty five bucks. But um, if you run onto one, they're great for this. But I want to show you. I've cut strips of this wool jacket, and if you see, it's got a lining on the back. So and it peels right off. And I want to take that off because when I turn this to make the rosette, I like the fact that you can see, you know, the print on both sides. So, but what I did was after I cut that out, I used it to make some leaves on the side of that rosette. And I kind of like that look. I think it's kind of cute. But I love the way those turn out. So, um, if you're interested, you can. Oh, I want to show you too. Here's another headband. And this is made out of, um, I'll show you this, how to make this too. This is made out of satin from that wedding dress. I've cut strips of it as well. So we're just going to craft here for a minute and uh, you can sit down and craft with me if you like. I'm going to um, cut a piece of that netting and it's pretty stiff. It's like, a, it's like crinoline material. And then we're just going to cut strips of this. Oh, I don't know, probably a quarter inch wide, maybe. Maybe a little wider. You should see my workroom. I have like, you know, a, a two foot space that I can work in because there's so much junk everywhere else. I've got to clean this up. Are you like that? I don't know how I, I do that, but I do. <laughs> I do. My grandmother was always that way. She had one area and you know everything else was all over here, but she had one area that she worked in. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I want to do is take some glue and glue this back on itself. And be careful not to burn yourself like I do several times a day. And then we're just going to start rolling it to make the rosette in the middle. Just roll it a couple times and then twist it. And now what I'm going to do is glue the back side down. And see I can glue that right on that mat where that glue is coming through and it doesn't stick. And I love that. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to bring you just a little bit closer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start rolling, 
twist in and roll on and just just put it lay it out to where you like it I'm kind of like that so I'll just put a little bit of glue right there and just keep going not hard at all I love the way they turn out with winter you know winter will be here before you know and I know it's just the end of July but it will creep up on us and I want to get these headbands made I want to make several winter headbands this festival that I want to do is in September and so I want to get some of these done before then okay let's see I've got a good base going there Yeah, it looks kind of messy, but you got to pull your glue strings off. That's the only bad thing about glue guns. Yeah, with all this mess, my husband, we are wanting to, um, we're thinking about downsizing and, and selling out completely and going on the road in our RV, which is something we've talked about doing for years and years. And uh, it would be so hard with my crafts <laughs> uh, to do that, but we're we're talking about doing it. So I'll have to keep you posted on how that's going. We um, we travel a lot in it, and I and I do take my stuff and craft while we're gone. So take my sewing machine and take all my journal stuff. You'd be surprised how much I can pack in that motorhome. Okay. And just keep going around and around till I like it. Hope I'm still in frame here. It's quiet in here tonight, but it will not be tomorrow night. My grandkids are coming. Three of them. I have four. Three of them are coming. And so, that'd be a lot going on here tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that come up on there like that. That looks better. So, we're about at the end here. I'll kind of tuck that under. Tuck that end under. I think they're real pretty on those headbands. Now, if you want to make some leaves, let's just cut out some leaf shapes and put it around there. I like how that end curls up and kind of looks like a leaf. See, that looks like a good leaf shape. I'm just going to pinch that together to make it hold its shape a little bit better. So it looks a little more like a leaf. And then where that glue is, that makes it a little stiffer. That'll make it easier to tuck under here. And then we'll put another one on there. I did journals um, the last few days, so it was time to do something different here. You never know what I'm going to do here because I get bored and want to do something different for a few days. But I actually love the journal making, and uh, I love fabric. Fabric and paper are the two mediums that I love to work in. So, But you never know what you're going to find here. But I, I want to do some craft with me just because I do really like um, having you guys here while I'm working on something. I love to watch you guys while I'm doing something. I have you guys on a lot. There's several go-to people that 
when I'm going to sit down and craft, I love to listen to them. Okay, so see, I think that turned out pretty cute. Not bad. Now let's move on to one of the satin ones and see what we can do with that. Let's get a piece of this netting and cut a circle out. Get back in frame, Angie, get back in frame. Okay. That's pretty big. Let me cut it down a little bit. Okay. It's basically the same technique. Whoop, drop my scissors. It's basically the same technique. I'm just going to pull it back on itself. And start a Start a circle here, or I mean a rosebud here. And those frayed edges, I'm just turning them under because I really don't want them up. So now that we've got it started here, I'll just glue it down. goodness look at that lots of glue okay and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna start twisting twisting around wrapping this around and then what I did on this one was um, dyed it with my alcohol inks. Now, if you've never used alcohol inks, let me tell you, it is fastly becoming, quickly becoming, not fastly, it's fastly a word, I don't know, quickly becoming one of my favorite new um, tools, I guess, if you want to call it that. I have just fell in love with them because there's so many things you can do with them. You know, you can't, you can't really use acrylic paint, which I've worked with for years. You can't really use acrylic paint to paint metal and you can use alcohol inks for that. Um, buttons, I use them for buttons. I use them to, to for fabric. I spray them on fabric. I, I just, gosh, there's a multitude of uses. I just, it seems like I'm using my alcohol inks almost every day for something. So I would suggest if you don't have them in your craft room you should get some because they're just fabulous okay see the neat thing about these two is they're pretty flat see they're not too I mean if you wanted to put that on a journal page you could it's not that fat so I'm just going to get more strips of this and cut a little bit more tons of this wedding dress. I'm going to be in satin and netting for set for years because I have so much from this wedding dress. But I was so thankful to get it. It was it was a good time. If you saw the journal I made from cutting up the wedding dress, it was it was pretty it was pretty a uh, pretty neat project. I'm pretty proud of that. So let's start a new Piece here and I'll just kind of hold that under again just so I don't have any raw edge and back around we'll go and just keep twisting the twist gives it the pedal feeling I think Let's see, I like that, so I'm just going to put a dab of glue down there and 
glue it to it glue it to it so just keep keep going around now see how I'm kind of giving that some shape there just manipulate it around like you like it almost there hope I'm not boring you almost there Yeah, see how I flatten that out? And just keep going around. Yep. I'm happy with that. I like it. I'm just going to finish it off there. I like it. Now, what I would do, let me go back to this other one. Let's take it and I did um, a squirted brown. Uh, I think it was mushroom color, ink, alcohol ink, and then went into the pinks. And I just, I put some of the color down and then I spray it really well with alcohol. Um, so that it dilutes it and kind of it kind of permeates it and it's not the the color is not concentrated it's very subtle and I love that look it gives well I think I'm gonna end this video I don't want it to be too long it takes too long to upload them so I hope you enjoyed that time with me um, I'm really enjoying having the YouTube channel you know I've only been on a month now so I'm really trying to build up my um, sub base and I, I just appreciate the community so much and thanks for staying with me and hanging with me and I'll uh, probably put out a video in another next couple days I've got some stuff I want to show you so thanks for hanging with me bye